Okay, esports are sports. Um, the E stands for electronic. No. No, they're not supposed to say that. What? <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs> so esports is all one word. So email may originally have been electronic mail, but over time, email has become its own identity with its own functions that you don't think of when you think of postal mail, right? It's just its own group. And similarly, esports is its own group now. So esports um, as a noun has actually linguistically changed into just one word, esports, no capital letters, no camel case, no hyphen. I mean, in two words, it's competitive gaming. It is being formatted nowadays in the same way as other formal sports. Esports can be an alternative form of both entertainment and an outlet for competitive expression. Esports is sort of exploding in popularity around the world right now in general. So it's a trend that uh, CC as a place who wants to be innovative and on the leading edge kind of had to pay attention to. This space has opened up a lot of uh, opportunities for the team. It's easier to have a team when you can all be in the same room. You have a space you can go, you can talk face to face, you can view body language and you're not just talking on a headset. Because understanding people's emotions and understanding like how are you receiving the information I'm telling you is very important for success. Overwatch is a team-oriented game where six players fight off against six enemy players and you fight for objectives. In Overwatch, there's at least 25 heroes in the game and all of these heroes have different abilities, different health pools, um, different movement speeds even. And so the combination of those 26 heroes that you play and the combination of their abilities together and how you go against the enemy team is what makes esports so versatile and so competitive. League of Legends is the most popular MOBA in the world, maybe second to Dota 2. What is a MOBA? MOBA, multiplayer, multi-online player battle arena. Each game there's five people against five people, and the objective of the game is to basically kill the other, other team's base. Um, since each team has five people, there's 130 or so playable characters. Every game is so different, and there's a lot of strategy that goes into each game. This year, we're going to be competing in the first ever Division III esports competition in the SCAC. We're on track to be officially a club sport at the end of this year. Where I would love to see it grow in the future is to become actually more similar to a varsity sport, where at that point we would recruit and offer scholarships. So I, you know, I see it growing pretty quickly into being right up there with any other traditional sport as a program.